Happy Palm Sunday. I wanted to give an update on the uh, coronavirus uh, pandemic and what we've learned over the past really month or so. I blogged about this in my April DrNathanSBryan.com website. Some of you read this. Some of you like to hear it directly uh, from a video. So here's what we learned, that if you have nitric oxide deficiency, and this is apparent in patients with high blood pressure, cardiovascular disease, diabetes, kidney function, acute respiratory distress syndrome, or any type of pulmonary disease, then your risk of infection actually in increases and your risk from dying actually increases tenfold. So you have a 10 times higher chance of dying from coronavirus infection if you have symptoms of nitric oxide deficiency. Those are the data that just came out a couple of weeks ago. And in fact, it's not just uh, viral infections or bacterial infections. Every single chronic disease is characterized by decreased blood flow and perfusion to those affected organs. And it makes sense because your body cannot elicit a robust immune response if it can't mobilize and regulate blood flow to the infected regions. And so the acute respiratory distress syndrome that's associated and really the cause of death from coronavirus infection is mismatch in blood flow. So the lungs are unique in the fact that when there's decreased oxygen to the lungs, they, what is called hypoxic vasoconstriction. So they decrease blood flow to that particular region of the lung, and then there's decreased oxygen exchange, and people become hypoxic and die from this. So if there's a way that you can increase blood flow to the lungs, to the lower regions of the lungs, to match ventilation to perfusion, then those people will actually get better. So not only is nitric oxide critically important for mitigating the risk of infections from exposure to uh, the coronavirus, we know that nitric oxide actually kills the coronavirus replication. That's data that's probably 15 years old now but you can actually increase blood flow, help your immune system, and decrease the severity of the disease and the need for ventilation and decrease death from this. So we're communicating this to the current administration to get nitric oxide front and center in terms of viable and safe therapeutics to mitigate the risk and at-risk patients, because I can tell you a vaccine for this is not the answer. The human body is not designed to do that. Human body is a resilient machine, and if we give the body what it needs, it heals itself. I think what we need to focus on now is doing what you can do to restore nitric oxide production. That includes stop taking mouthwash, that's been shown to decrease nitric oxide production. Uh, stop taking antacids, specifically proton pump inhibitors. Uh, and then start doing the things that we know that employ nitric oxide, or deploy nitric oxide production, which is eating more green leafy vegetables, getting moderate physical exercise, get some sunlight, and then if you need help, then we have technology that actually generates nitric oxide for you. If your body can't make nitric oxide, we do it for you. Uh, so those are really the basics, and it's really that simple. So on this Palm Sunday and this time of Holy Week, I think it's a great time for reflection and to put aside fear, put forth our faith, and trust the science. And the science really tells us that the best thing you can do to protect from infections, from not just coronavirus, but any other pathogen, is to... Pay attention to your nitric oxide levels and do what the science tells us. Thank you.